Political insiders are asking whether Senate Democrats have missed one of their best pickup opportunities this year. We're talking about the race to replace retiring Republican Senator Dale Schultz in the 17th District. Spring Green attorney Pat Bomhack will face Republican State Representative Howard Markline in that race. Bomhack won the nomination through a primary recount, and that prompted the loser of the Democratic primary to call Markline, the Republican, a lock to win the seat. We're talking now with Howard Markline, who's at our Madison affiliate, WKOW-TV. Representative Markline, good to have you back on the program. I'll ask you, first of all, whether you agree with that characterization that Ernie Whitwer had of this race. He said you're a lock to win. Do you feel like you're a lock? Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to work hard. Uh, uh, this is a, a swing district, and uh, I can't take anything for granted. So I'm going to continue to work hard and, and meet people. And, and uh, I, I don't consider myself a lock, but I... Uh, expect that at the end of the day I am going to win. Uh, I wanted to ask you about your, your first TV ad. I saw it the other day and you described yourself as an independent voice. I, is that how you would describe yourself politically instead of say conservative Republican? I've represented the 51st Assembly District and I've always voted uh, for my Assembly District. Um, and so if that meant uh, you know breaking with the party, I did. Uh, I stand for the values uh, of our rural communities and uh, have done that in the past in the state assembly, and will continue to do that in the state senate. Uh, uh, let me follow up on that because Pat Bomhack was on this program a couple weeks ago, uh, your Democratic opponent, and he said um, Howard Markline's one of the most partisan guys in the state legislature. He votes almost a straight party line. He he hasn't deviated from his party on on any key votes. In fact, he got into the race because Dale Schultz did deviate from the party on Act 10 and on mining legislation. I want to have you respond to that. You know, if you look at my, my voting record, uh, you know, every piece of legislation that I have drafted has been signed into law has been bipartisan. It's been constituent driven uh, legislation. Uh, it's helped my, my communities. And uh, again, every one of those bills has been uh, bipartisan. I, uh, I, I enjoy working across the aisle t to solve problems. Uh, I don't look to, to pick fights. Uh, and again, when it comes to um, solving uh, problems, and, and uh, I always vote my, my, uh, my district, and I uh, have in the past, and I will always continue to do that. And if you look at the, 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 my last election in 2012, the presidential election, 3,000 people that voted for Barack Obama in my district also voted for Howard Markline. So, you know, I don't think the residents uh, of my district considered me uh, partisan. Give, give me a sense, uh, Representative, of what you think uh, uh, distinguishes you from, from your opponent here. What makes you better suited for this district? I guess my background. You know, I'm a, my, my roots are in that district. I was born and raised on a dairy farm in the, uh, in the Senate district. I still live a mile from our home farm uh, in, in the district. I went to high school there. I've got a lot of family there. Uh, I'm a private sector person. Uh, I've worked, you know, my entire career in, in the private sector. I know what it's like to, to meet a budget and, and run a business. And uh, I think that connects uh, very, very well. Uh, agriculture is still a huge part of the economy in that Senate district. Uh, the Senate district is, is, is large geographically, and we have uh, diverse uh, types of agriculture from the, the dairy uh, cheesemakers in, in the southern part of the, of the district to the uh, cranberry growers in the north. And uh, the Farm Bureau is, has endorsed me and, as well as uh, I have the support of the, all of the major um, agricultural uh, groups. And uh, again, I, I understand agriculture. I understand the issue uh, that they face. And, and I don't think my, my opponent has any understanding of, of agriculture in, 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 my, in this district or in in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, let me uh, bring this back to, to, to Dale Schultz. Uh, I asked Pat Bomhack this. He had invoked Dale Schultz's name on several occasions, and, and, I, and I asked him, I said, so, uh, you know, do you expect an endorsement from, from Senator Schultz? And he said no, he, he, I, that he was interested in the endorsement of the people. But I'm wondering, would you be interested in an endorsement from Dale Schultz, and would you expect one? Uh, I, you know, I don't know. I haven't talked to, to Dale about that. Um, I don't know if I would expect it uh, or, or not. Uh, from what I gather, I think uh, Dale is, is going to uh, let the, the voters of the district decide uh, who they're going to you know, pick for their next senator. All right. State Representative Howard Markline from uh, Spring Green, we appreciate your time. Thanks very much for being with us today. Thank you, Mike. Next, what's writing on the first gubernatorial debate?